Can you change an angle into a number? Abracadabra. Hmm. In this lesson, you will learn that a radian is a real number used to represent an angle by comparing a circle's radius to its circumference. You already know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius, or approximately 6 and 28 hundredths times the radius. Here's a circle and a number line marked in radii. We roll the circle down the number line, and when it's gone all the way around one full rotation, it ends up right there at 2 pi r. In geometry, you learn that the arc of a circle is subtended by the central angle. Subtended by means across from. Some students confuse a real pi with the symbol pi. Yes, believe it or not, they start thinking of the circumference of a circle as pi r instead of 2 pi r, because a pi, the kind you eat, p-i-e, is also circular. So be sure that you remember there's always a 2 in front of pi when you're talking about the circumference of a circle. Here's the general idea behind using real numbers to represent angles. Each little yellow arc has the same length as the radius of the circle. The central angle, subtended by an arc with the same length as one radius, is called one radian. The central angle subtended by an arc the same length as two radii is called two radians, and so on. Three radians is almost halfway around the circle. Here's four radians and five radians. The central angle subtended by six radii is called six radians. Now we've almost gone all the way around the circle. It takes 2 pi, or about 6 and 28 hundredths radii, to go all the way around the circle. So this little arc is about 28 hundredths the length of one radius. Now watch this. One radian always subtends one radius. So no matter what size the circle is, one radian always represents the same angle. One more detail concerning radians. For example, let's say we have a circle whose radius is 5 feet. The circumference will be 2 pi r, which equals 2 pi times 5 feet, or 10 pi feet. The number of radians, or radii, in any circle is the circumference divided by the radius. In this case, we get 10 pi feet divided by 5 feet. Notice that the lengths are feet divided by feet. This is equivalent to 2 pi. No feet, no length, just the number of radii in the circle. Hence, radians are usually written without units. Radians can be thought of as real numbers. This result is why radians are much simpler to use than degrees especially in our study of functions. In some textbooks, when radians are first introduced, an R is used to indicate radians rather than degrees, and the R is written where the little circle would go if the angle was expressed in degrees. However, we usually think of radians as real numbers, and so the R is dropped. In other words, the R is simply not needed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a little bit. The same number of radians always represents the same angle. Abracadabra! Mathematics, not magic. In this lesson, you have learned that a radian is a real number used to represent an angle.
by comparing a circle's radius to its circumference.